So you want to figure out how to measure your roof, but safe and not from on the roof, but yet the comfort of your cozy chair and your PJs on a laptop, desktop. Stick around in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that so you don't need to run around on a roof like this and figure out, scratching your head, how you're gonna measure all these sections up and figure all the numbers you need to get a pretty close and fairly accurate measurement of what you need to buy or charge for. Easy, safe, for free. Do me one favor though. If you like the video, or better yet, right now, scroll on down. I'll give you a couple seconds. Scroll down just a little bit. Give me a thumbs up, please, for the YouTube algorithm. I need people to give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. I just need for you to hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Go ahead and just press it and make it blue right now. Thank you. Furthermore, down the road, in the end of the video, if you like this, if this, if this video earns your subscription, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more how-to, tricks and tips and tricks, blah, tips and tricks. You don't want to miss a video. All right, I'm back in the truck shooting the second part of the video here. How to measure your roof simply and safely from the coziness of your favorite chair or in this case, mobile office here in my truck. I'm not going to lie, I shot this part already, but it was my camera moving around filming and it was a hellacious glare on the screen and it was a total bad shot. So this has now been a week and a half later. I'm reshooting the video, but guess what? For you guys, I've got screen capture software on here and I'm gonna plug that in on the screen here now, okay? At different points in the video, there will be some blur out areas for customer information just so there's no addresses or names being revealed to you, my faithful viewers. So bear with me when you see a blurred out point, that's all there is. All right, so as promised, did I promise you? I don't know, I'm promising you now. An easy way to measure your roof without going onto the roof. Go up to Google, type in Google Maps, bring up the maps, type in the destination of your place. In this particular case is this house where I was prior to, where I shot um, satellite imagery using this iRoofing app and figured it. Um, there is a section here that I'll show you screen capture on the screen that might make it easier. Um, that is paid for software. I'm not a big fan of it. I use it, yes. I'll probably drop it just because it's pricing. I don't use 95% of their software. But back to the point of the video, how to measure your roof. Put the cursor, if you can see the cursor, hopefully you can, right up on the corner of your property here. Right click is the trick to get this thing started. Go down to the bottom of your option, measure distance, jump up over to another point of the property, and just simply, in this case, touch the, the pad on the laptop or left click on your mouse. So 36.34, that is the distance from one point to another. Just to show you and compare the scalability between using Google Earth versus this paid for version of iRoofing, which I think they probably get their imagery from Google with an API or some shit, I don't know how that works. So jump up to this over here. Here is the sketch report that I put together. There's gonna be a blurred out section over here. I'll show you a few things down this side. Then I will blur out this whole left lower end because his name and address scroll through there. But you get some good information like ridge vent, hip and ridge, valley, rake, and a few other things. Ridge vent, ice and water drippage, gutter tops, gutters, if you do those things. Total area, that's an important one, square footage, and a waste factor. I'll explain that here in a little bit. So now blurring out more, we're gonna scroll down through here. There's a few other things that gives you with a waste factor. Um, here's the sketch coming up of the property. And down here, this is the driveway side on the map, Google Maps, I just showed you 37. I was at 36.3 something, pretty close, usually within one foot, one way or another, close enough to safely figure this. So we know that's correct. We're gonna continue around and sketch around this property. While I'm in here showing you this, it gives good information. It gives you square footage of each section, uh, tells you the pitch of them. Of course, you gotta know in this software to plug that in. Um, when you're figuring the estimate, you can say this is ice and water, hip and ridge valley. Do you want edge metal? Do you want ice and water? It's good software, but again, it's pretty pricey. And this video is to show you how to do it for free. So back at the whole point of the video. 30 square. 3,011 square feet. Remember that number. Uh, I'll come back to it if I need to. Going back to the maps. Alright, so you're basically just going to continue marking out around this property. Just put your cursor close to where the edge of the, the roof is and just sketch around it. The white area you're seeing is actually the gutter is being picked up in this. So basically, just continue on around. This is also, again, a 2D image of Google Earth looking straight down on the property. It does not take into account the pitch. So the steeper the pitch of the roof, the more 
off your number will be and you use a simple math formula which I'll give you a cheat sheet to plug a card up here I keep a little spot right here on my laptop it's just simple rise and then a multiplier uh, oh I'm trying to rub that and not my pad connect your property there it is so we're at 2568 by the way if you see this like cursor down here is off you don't need to start all over you can just left click and drag it over to where you need so you can make sure you're you know you're not off on your measurements you don't need to start it all over just tweak those a little bit get them close if you're going to air out air out slightly bigger so you can get your job done and then return material so i'm pretty confident with this here make sure there's anywhere else that's kind of screwed up or off maybe these two just a tad bit right here I mean it doesn't have to be crazy it's not rocket science alright so I'm pretty confident with that number let's look what we got total area Oh, I guess total distance 241 uh, linear feet around the whole property that's good for edge metal ice and water and uh, starter figuring all that your ice and water if you're going to do your valleys you're just going to jot that number down and then add in each one of these valleys here just do a linear capture that would be pretty close to get those um, so 2595 bring up calculator clear that out 2595 multiplied by your rise factor that is and when you know the rise you plug this number in and it will tell you the right number so in this case a 612 which I know is what it is is a 1.118 so you're going to multiply that by 1 0.118 equals 2901. So 29 square feet. Let's bring up this math again here. 30. We're within a square. A square foot. Or not a square foot, but one square. That's not far off. That's actually pretty accurate when you're not going up on your roof. And again, figure a little more. Also, with that number being known, that does not take into account valleys underlying crossing over and then the top side crossing over and being cut. That's all wasted material that is not figured into this. This is an actual square. So the more cut up, you're going to want to add a factor in a little bit higher. And most of the time, you can get pretty close with a waste factor of 10. So in that case, you'd need 33 square or 34 square. A little extra and take it back at your convenience is better, provided it's not a special order material. Uh, let's see, am I forgetting anything on here? At this point, what I personally do is throw it into a spreadsheet so I know, like a checklist, I'm not forgetting anything. It gives me different prices on different materials. It gives me estimated profit, uh, trash, all, all these things are in there. So I'm pretty accurate and know I'm going to either make money and how much uh, profit, percentage of the job, and different things like that. I don't want to show you that many of my secrets, so we're going to stop there on that. Um, back to the property here. If you're like me, well, if you're a homeowner doing this, you can just walk outside and look at your pitch, and you can see videos on how to do that. If you're a contractor like me and you want to learn how to see this, Google Earth has another really cool tool. Close this out. There'll be a little more blurred info. Click the property. It's going to pop up the address. Click the address. Most of the time, you can get good street view by Google. Those little Google cars that drove around for the last decade, this is where that helps you. Yes, you. You always drove by. I've seen drive by. You're like, what the hell is that? This is what they did, and it helps. It's a free tool. Just simply pretend you're in the Google car, drive down where you need to be, and then pan over. Sorry for the delay in the loading. I'm tethered to my hotspot on my phone. Zoom in on the property. Ooh, too much. Back up. So you can get good info. You got two box vents. There's a chimney up there. Looking at the hip right here, my experience, that's a 612. Just guesstimate pretty close. There's an area to park a trailer. Landscaping's not too bad. Got a fence over there. You got some pretty good info here. You can just drag this around, click up the street. Metro areas, big cities, you got good imagery. Some rural areas out in the country, you're not going to have so much luck with Google Street View. So in that case, you could try to go to a Google Map 3D view and you can get a better idea that way. That's the next best thing to Street View. And then again, just pan around here. So you can zoom up in on here. Landscaping's not bad. Clean, simple, straight runs. Looks like it's got ridge vent already opened up on the center main ridge. Yeah, you know, it's not hard. Sometimes you can even get lucky and see the pipe boots on the back and guesstimate to what size it, whether it's a three inch, a four inch, a B vent. Sometimes you're lucky, you can even drive around another property or even alleys sometimes and see up the back road or the back of the house. So you get pretty lucky getting some good info with the street view. Um, so that's all you really gotta do click back here 
I think I've covered everything I wanted to in this video. We're at maybe 10 minutes or depending upon whatever I edit this down or edit all the video together. I appreciate you watching this far if you have. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are subscribed, I greatly appreciate you coming back to watch again. If not, has it earned your subscription? If so, please subscribe. Hit the uh, bell notification off to the side so you're notified when I upload videos like this, you the viewer, and to help you. Uh, tips and tricks with roofing. And, uh, yeah, please, once again, smash the thumbs up button for me, please. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to help other people. That's all I ask you. Thanks again, and as always, until next time, be safe and see you then.